Today we are going to discuss about the five basic Linux utility command which you should use along with your regular Linux commands. I have been using these commands for a quite some time and I really felt that this could be a time saver and can really improve the day to day productivity of a developer. The first command which we are going to discuss is the sudo followed with the two exclamation sign. It is often noticed that being a developer you try to run a command as a root administrator but you often forget to add a sudo in front of the command. So what you do? You just rewrite the command and you add a sudo. But just to save the time and if your command is too long then what you can do? You can just uh, type in sudo space and followed with the two exclamation sign and you can just hit the enter and it will rerun the previous command with the sudo. Let's switch over to desktop and see the command in action. Alright, so this is the terminal and the command which I would like to run without the sudo is apt get update. And this command requires a sudo and a root privileges to execute it. I will simply hit enter without uh, using the sudo. So here you can see the permission denied. So either what you can do, you can type in sudo and then you can type in the whole command. But instead you can use the command sudo followed by the two exclamation sign. And this should rerun the previous command which you have just executed without the sudo. So simply hit enter and here you can see uh, it has executed the command sudo apt get update. So this can save a little bit of your time and since this command is a very small one but in case if you are writing a really long command where you need to have a sudo then it can be really useful in those scenarios. The next utility command which I am talking about is about the confirmation message which you need to type in while trying to installing or downloading a software packages. So it is generally noticed that you need to provide a confirmation in the form of yes or no if you want to install certain package onto your Linux system. But sometimes it's quite annoying when you're trying to automate the stuff and still you need to manually key in the value or the confirmation yes or no to proceed with the installation. In such scenarios you can use the command yes followed with the pipe and your actual Linux command. Uh, what it will do, it will provide an auto confirmation yes and it will not ask for any further confirmation from your site and your installation or the download or whatever stuff you are trying to do will continue without any manual intervention. So this is my terminal and I am just going to run a simple command so that I can show the confirmation message to you. So I am just going to install node.js onto my Linux system. So here you can see this is the confirmation it is asking do you want to continue and here I need to key in yes and no. So first of all let us type in no. And I am just going to rerun the same command with the yes. So I am just going to type in yes followed with the pipe and you can type sudo apt install node.js. And remember when I was trying to run previously the same command it was asking for the confirmation whether yes or no. And now I have provided the auto confirmation in the form of yes already and simply hit enter. So here you can see it has started installing the node.js onto my machine. So with this way you can just provide a auto confirmation onto your Linux terminal and it will no longer ask for your manual confirmation from your site. So this can be a really useful command and it can save you some of your time. Alright, the next utility which I am talking about is related to the history command. So you might have worked on a Linux and you have, might have executed the history command. So what it does, it shows the, all the commands which you have executed in the past. So suppose if you want to re-execute one of your commands from the history, then what you do? You just run the history command and you just go to the list, you just copy the command and paste it again onto the terminal. Although manually copying and pasting the command uh, from the history list, it doesn't sound to be a really big effort. But what if, if you can use the simply arrow key to select the commands which you have executed in the past and just simply re-execute it. So there is a one very good utility which we call it as a HSTR that is an abbreviation for a history and you need to install this utility manually onto your Linux machine. And once you install this utility then you can simply execute the command HSTR which is again a short form of history. So once you execute this command onto your terminal then it will show you a list and from the arrow keys you can just select the command which you want to re-execute onto your terminal. So uh, what's the benefit we are getting over here? So traditional history command although it shows all the commands which you have executed in the past but you need to manually copy and paste the command. But with this utility you don't need to manually copy and paste. You just simply need to execute this command and you need to select the 
uh, command from your arrows key and you can just simply re-execute the command. So let's see the command in action. Here is my terminal and if I simply run the our normal history command then you can see these are the commands which I have executed in the past and here is a long list of uh, commands which is there. So uh, what I will do traditionally I will just go there select this command I will just go here copy and paste it onto my terminal to re-execute it. But what benefit you will get with the HSTR command. So I will simply run the command HSTR. I have already installed this HSTR command. That's why I'm able to run this command. So I'll just simply hit enter. And here you can see these are the commands which I have executed in the past and I can navigate using my arrow key. So if I want to rerun the command, let's say sudo apt install node.js again, then I can simply hit enter and it can re-execute the same command. So here you can see I have already installed that's why it uh, it doesn't reinstall it. So this is the benefit I will get from HSTR and it is really beneficial when uh, you are working in a stage or production like environment and when you are in a quick hurry and you need to rerun the command from your history. So this HSTR utility comes quite handy and this utility you need to install it manually and the command for installing this utility is sudo apt install HSTR and this will install this package onto your Linux distribution. The next utility which I'm talking about is monitoring the statistics of your Linux machine. You might be familiar with the command htop where it shows what are the processes which are running onto your Linux machines along with the CPU usage and the memory usage. But what if, if you get a little bit more uh, advanced statistics from your machine? So there is a one very good command known as glances. This is a separate utility and it doesn't come default with any of the Linux operating system. You need to install this utility manually by yourself. And once you install this utility, then you simply need to run the command glances onto your terminal. And it can show you the statistics like what is the CPU usage, memory usage, disk usage, and what are the different different top processes which are consuming most of your memory and CPU. So here is my terminal and the command which I was talking about is glances. And here you can see these are the statistics which is provided by this uh, glances utility. So here you can see the CPU usage, memory usage, swap usage along with the disk usage and here you can see uh, the top processes which is running onto my Linux operating system. So this is a quite handy utility uh, if you regularly monitor the CPU memory or the disk usage onto your Linux machine. As I have already told you, the glances utility doesn't come default with the Linux distribution. You need to install this utility manually and you can install uh, using this command sudo apt install glances. I'll put the link of uh, other distribution or the GitHub page of glances where they have documented all the installation instruction. So simply execute this command to get it installed onto your Linux operating system. The next utility which I'm talking about is running an HTTP request on a particular port. Although there are certain utility, but using this single command, you can set up an HTTP server running on a particular port onto your Linux machine. And for that, you need to have a Python installed onto your Linux machine. And once you have installed the Python, you can just simply execute this command and you can have a HTTP request serving on a particular port. This is my terminal and the command which you need to run to start the HTTP server onto terminal is python3-m and http.server. And once you execute this command, then it will start an HTTP server running on a port 8000. And we can verify the port uh, by accessing it through the browser. And since it is my AWS machine, so I can access with the host name followed with the 8000, the port. And here you can see, this is the default listing of the directory, which is uh, available onto my Linux machine. And this is how you can quickly set up an HTTP server running on a port 8000 with the help of Python. I hope you liked the today's session on uh, Linux utility, which can be really beneficial for you into your daily day-to-day -day development job. And it's a bit different from my regular DevOps session. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestion regarding the today's session, then those are most welcome. You can put down into the comment section. So see you into the next session of our DevOps. Till then, take care and bye-bye.